yes good afternoon students good afternoon ma'am good afternoon yes can you tell me how much we have completed in last lecture series resonance theory part fully we have completed or not yes up to uh, 61 page number yeah up to 61 page number okay ma'am also about the dop and dos for the journal yeah dop and dos no okay i will i will discuss i will tell you uh, till the end of the lecture tanvi okay okay ma'am yes is it visible yes or no yes ma'am yeah so all of you take down 2.57 problem problem number 2.57 and keep another document uh, or be be ready with it open it in your on your desktop or a screen that uh, page number from 56 to 61 keep it ready for the formulas don't go for the answers for 2.57 that you can just find it out later on the only you can re refer the pages for the different formulas here yes series rlc circuit has following parameter values r 10 ohm l 0.014 henry and c 100 microfarad compute the following resonance frequency in radian per second quality factor of the circuit bandwidth lower and upper cut off frequency points of the bandwidth now you can see that if they are asking the value of resonance frequency in radian per second all other values also you are going to find out in radians per second only this quality factor is a one equation 1 by r root of l by c bandwidth should be in radians per second we have two equations with us r upon 2 pi l and r by l r upon 2 pi l is it is in hertz and r by l will be in radians per second so use that formula r by l and find out w1 and w2 not f1 and f2 find out w1 and w2 and the last point what they are telling the maximum value of voltage appearing across the capacitor if voltage the voltage v is equal to 1 sin 1000t is applied to rlc circuit for that we supposed to find out voltage across capacitor so we have here formula of voltage across capacitor it is v by r root of l by c and this value of v is a rms value so in equation we can have here 1 volt is the maximum value so from that you find out rms value substitute v r l c here and find out v c yes students can you proceed for finding answers so shall i explain you problem yes did to see yes ma'am we can solve what about other uh, ma'am try yes, ma the equation to fill up for explain kar dena okay then 5 minutes i will give you to complete this problem okay yes ma'am
Yes, if you'll complete the problem right done in chat box. Shall I proceed for answers or shall I wait for two more minutes? Yes. Yes, shall I wait or shall I proceed? How many of you still solving? Please raise your hand. Fine, you complete your problem. I'll wait for two more minutes. Yes, one by one we'll cross check the answers. First of all, we'll cross check the answer of omega r, and then I'll scroll down. Others, those who are still solving, they can uh, check it up one by one. Omega r is eight fifty forty five point fifteen radians per second. Q value will be one point one eight three. Bandwidth, as I told you earlier, that it will be r by l seven one four point two nine radians per second. W one is 488 radians per second. W2 is 1202.3 radians per second. And uh, I will scroll down about BC. It is 0.837 volt. All of you just check all the answers. Still, anybody solving, they can unmute and tell me. I'll wait for one more minute. Otherwise, we'll proceed for next problem.
Yes, can we proceed for next one? Yes, students, did you yes. see? Yes. Okay. So all of you take down next one. Yes, take down 2.58. Voltage of 10 sin omega t is applied to RLC circuit. As a resonance frequency of a circuit, the, uh, at the resonance frequency, the maximum voltage across capacitor is found to be 500 volt. So VC is 500 volt. Bandwidth is 400 radians per second they have given. And the impedance at resonance is 100 ohm. Means R value will be 100 ohm. find the resonance frequency means now they didn't tell you to find it by you uh, it is in radians per second or hertz so try to find out everything in hertz only don't go for radians per second f1 and f2 upper and lower limit of bandwidth and l and c value they are asking yes can you proceed for solving it everybody yes sir. Okay, so Complete this part and we'll proceed. We are going to uh, uh, forward for the parallel resonance. Today we'll study about it. If we'll get time, we'll solve one problem based on that. Yes, I'll call out your roll numbers. Please answer your roles. Yes, roll number one. Present, ma'am. Two. Simran, roll number two. Oh, yes, ma'am. Present. Yeah. Three. Present, ma'am. Four. Present, ma'am. Five. Present, ma'am. Six. Present, ma'am. Seven. Akshita, roll number seven. Eight. Present, ma'am. Nine. Present ma'am. 10. Arsh, present, present ma'am. Present ma'am. 11. Present ma'am. 12. Present ma'am. 13. Present ma'am. 14. Present ma'am. 15. Ujwal, 15. Present ma'am. Okay. 16. Present ma'am. 17. Present ma'am. 18. Present, ma'am. 19. Present, ma'am. 20. Present, ma'am. 21. Present, ma'am. 22. Present, ma'am. 23. Present, ma'am. 24. Present, ma'am. 25. Present, ma'am. 26. Present, ma'am. 27. Present, ma'am. 28. Irene, 28. He was there, na, Tanvi? Vedant. Who, oh, ma'am? Ah, Irene, Irene. Yeah, Vedant? I didn't check the list, ma'am. Okay, students. fine, fine. Right. Roll number 29. Present, ma'am. 30. Present, ma'am. 31. Present, ma'am. 32. Present, ma'am. 33. Present, ma'am. 34. Rishi, 34. 35. Present, ma'am. 36. Present, ma'am. 37. Present, ma'am. 38. Present, ma'am. 39. Present, ma'am. 40. Present, ma'am. 41. Present, ma'am. 42. Present, ma'am. 43. 43. 
44 present ma'am 45 present ma'am 46 present ma'am 47 Man, forty-seven, forty-eight, minus total number forty-eight, forty-nine, present ma'am, fifty, twice, fifty, fifty-one, present ma'am. Akash, ye tu? Ma'am, fifty present. Yeah, twice present. Okay. Fifty one Tarun is also there, right? Yes, ma'am. Fifty two. Present, ma'am. Fifty three. Present, ma'am. Fifty four. Present, ma'am. Fifty five. Present, ma'am. Fifty six. Raj, fifty six. Fifty seven. Present, ma'am. Fifty eight. Present, ma'am. Fifty nine. Present, ma'am. Sixty. Present, ma'am. Sixty-one. Present, ma'am. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. Present, ma'am. Sixty-four. Present, ma'am. Sixty-five. Present, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. All of you complete problem. We'll come back to within two minutes. Okay.
Yes, done everybody. Shall we cross check the answers? Okay, roll number seven. Okay, fine. Yes, we will just cross check the answers. Anybody have an issue, they can unmute and ask me. See here what uh, they have given that VC value they have given for 500 volt. Bandwidth 400 radians per second. Convert into hertz first. That is 400 by 2 pi. After converting bandwidth, we can proceed for Q factor formula. That is VC by V. V already we found here that is 10 sin omega t 10 is a VM. So 10 by root 2 will be 7.071 volt. So VC by V we can use for the cofactor Q, Q factor. So we'll get 70.71. Then the resonant frequency FR is equal to bandwidth into Q factor. From that we can find out resonant frequency. And then we can find out F1 mm -hmm. and F2 and L and C values. By using bandwidth formula R by 2 by L. We can find out L value and frequency formula. We can find out C value. Yes. Anybody have a doubt about it, about this problem? They can unmute and ask me. How many of you getting answer? Please raise your hand. Okay. Out of 60, only 15 are raising hand. What about others? Other students, are you getting the answer or not? 20, 20 students are giving answers. Other students? Okay, so maximum of you getting answer, right? So what is the C value? We'll check it here. C value is 5 nanofarad. So I think nobody have a query for finding the answers of series resonance. And... Uh, Already this document is shared with you, so you can go through later on, you can find out the answers. Okay, so now we just proceed for parallel resonance. Solve these other problems also for practice. After admittance, we have parallel resonance. Yes, this is somewhat different than series resonance. You can understand because you understood already what is series resonance. So now parallel resonance here the reactive element R, L and C and they are connected like this. Here the R and L is in series so it is a coil. C is in parallel with this. Total current from the voltage is IR. Current will get divided at this point so it will be IL and IC. Is my screen visible to you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Understand first of all the basic points of parallel resonance that here is IL current, here is IC current. So this is a reactive component. IC is a reactive component. Now, this is a coil which carries reactive and active component both. Reactive and active component both. Right. So what we can write here that current through RL will be IL cos phi, IL sin phi. IL sin phi is a reactive component. IL cos phi is a active component. So it will get divided into two parts. Now, whenever resonance occur at that time, reactive component again will get cancelled with each other. How? You just look at here. We will take now whenever there is a parallel circuit. Voltage is constant, but current will get divided. So we are taking voltage as a reference for a phasor diagram as we have done earlier for parallel circuit. So voltage is a reference and total current IR is equal to your active component because reactive component will get cancelled. Because earlier also we have seen in series resonance that voltage V is equal to VR because VL and VC will get cancelled. So here also 
आई एल साइन फाय एंड वी आई सी विल गेट कैंसल सो हियर इज अ करंट दैट इज आई आर विच इज इक्वल टू आई एल कॉस फाय दिस इज युअर एक्टिव कॉम्पोनंट एंड हियर इज अ आई एल साइन फाय विच वील लैक दी वोल्टेज बाय एंगल नाइंटी डिग्री हियर इज आई सी विच वील लीड दी वोल्टेज बाय एंगल नाइंटी डिग्री दीज टू विल गेट कैंसल विथ इच अदर एंड देर फोर वील गेट आई आर इज इक्वल टू आई एल कॉस फाय ओके and another equation will get ic is equal to il sin phi il sin phi is a reactive component so reactive component will get cancel therefore phi angle will be zero and power factor will be unity is it clear everybody yes ma'am any doubt for this main phasor diagram of parallel resonance no doubt okay good now next is after understanding this we are going to find out the frequency equation for that we'll use this ir is equal to sorry this ic is equal to il sin phi equation we we'll use ic is equal to il sin phi equation so here we'll use ic is equal to il sin phi now what is ic it is v by xc what is il it is v by zn and sin phi l as per the impedance triangle Opposite upon hypotenuse, XL by Z. Sine phi is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse, so XL by Z L. Okay, so that we have substituted here as per the impedance triangle. Now after calculation, we'll get Z L square is equal to L by C, and then what is Z L square? R square plus XL square. XL is two pi F R L square, and then from that we'll get F R formula is one upon two pi root of One by L C minus R square upon L square. This is the main formula of frequency for parallel resonance. Main formula of frequency for parallel resonance. Now, generally R value is very very small. It is very very small. So this term will get cancelled. We are not. We are going to neglect this term. So we are writing generally. We are writing the formula. It is F R is equal to one upon two pi root L C. Any one formula you can use. Only the small difference will be there in the answer. Just mention this formula and try to use the main formula only in examples. If they will mention that R value is very very small, then use second formula. F R is equal to one upon two pi root L C. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So this is your frequency. Now next is we'll proceed for impedance as we have seen earlier in series resonance. We will now consider another equation that I R is equal to I L cos phi, active component. Now what is I R? It is V by Z R. Z R is the total impedance you can see in a circuit. Just a minute, everybody. Yeah, here you can see here this on a uh, outer dotted line is total impedance Z R. Smaller dotted line is impedance Z L. Okay, so Here we'll write impedance at resonance is Z R. So at resonance I L is equal to I R is equal to I L cos phi. So what is I R? V by Z R. I L is V by Z R. And as per the impedance triangle, what is cos phi L? Adjacent upon hypotenuse. Adjacent is R divided by Z L. From that we'll get Z R is equal to Z L square upon R. Z L square we already know that we have calculated in from the first equation. Z L square is equal to what? L by C. Is it visible, students? Yes. Yeah. So Z L square is equal to L by C. Now substitute this value in second equation. Here you substitute the value, so we will get the impedance of the circuit at parallel resonance is L by C R. Total impedance ZR is equal to L by CR. Inductive impedance ZL square is equal to L by C. The both the type formulas are important. L by CR is also very important. Now, whenever series resonance occur, at that time if we will increase the frequency, current will increase, and at resonance frequency, current will be maximum. But when parallel resonance occur, at that time what will happen? That current will decrease. current because circuit impedance will increasing there is a active component also present l and c is also present in your circuit impedance because circuit impedance is equal to l and c and 
this is called as dynamic impedance right and because of that what will happen at parallel resonance that l and l by c is very very large large value and if l by c is very very large current will decrease there current is increasing because r is very very small now here l by c is very very large so current will decrease and we'll get a graph like this if we we'll increase the frequency and impedance is also increasing at that time current will decrease and at resonance frequency current will be minimum that is ir is equal to v by zr and again after if we we'll increase the frequency current start increasing that is a resonance frequency opposite to series resonance okay now the q factor already we have seen the q factor there we have seen it is v v by vc or vl by vr vr now here it is il or ic by ir so it is ic by ir ic is v by xc xc is 1 upon 2 pi fc so here we will write 2 pi fr cv ir is v by zr zr is l by cr l by cr we all we got it from another equation here what is your circuit impedance it is l by cr what is ir first from first equation we got it that is ir is equal to v by zr substitute the value here that is ir is equal to v by l by cr substitute in q factor and we'll get equation we we'll substitute fr value here and we'll get q factor is equal to 1 by r root of l by c same q factor as your series resonance whatever we got it for series resonance same q factor we are getting here for parallel resonance till now everybody clear yes or no yes sir yeah so you are going to study the page number until the next class now we are solving one problem here and explaining one problem to you all page number you just noted down page number uh sorry 100 hundred, 100 one, 101 102 then 103 enough and 104 this comparison also that is required for oral and also final examination okay so now all of you take down 2.89 question a parallel circuit consists of a 2.5 microfarad capacitor c value they have given coil whose resistance and inductance they have given 515 ohm r l is 260 milli henry determine the resonance frequency q factor and dynamic impedance you can open here already it is here in front of you frequency resonance frequency formula is here then q factor is 1 upon r root of l by c and dynamic impedance is l by cr so can you find out answer shall i wait for 5 minutes yes ravi any doubt ravi yes anybody uh, can you solve this problem or shall i explain you students can we try okay five minutes i will give you because one more problem is supposed to solve it today if we'll get time tomorrow after completion of today's lecture we'll proceed for transformer discussion once that is required that chapter is not there for your syllabus means in your theory exam but that questions can come in oral examination so basic i need to clear it and i'll explain you about the three phase circuits means three phase induction motor and all okay in the next class so try to complete this in 5 minutes
yes students completed yes how many of you completed please raise your hand so we'll just cross check the answers all of you just check it here anybody is still solving they can unmute and tell me otherwise cross check your answers fr is 197.19 hertz q factor is 21.48 and zr is 6933.33 ohm Yes, shall I give you next problem, everybody? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So all of you just take down. Just a minute, everybody. Yes, two point nine zero. You just take down this. similar type you can find it out still we have five more minutes you just try to find out answer we'll discuss after four minutes before four o'clock
Yes, done everybody. Can we cross check the answers? I will just show you for a minute. We have a formula for FR. By using that, we are getting 19.49 Hertz. ZR is L by CR is 50 Ohm. And IR is V by ZR, that is 4.6 Amperes. Yes, is it clear everybody? Other yes. part, if you want to discuss with me, we can discuss this later on. Only we supposed to find out the values. You just find out the values and go through the phasor diagram. Still, after drawing this phasor diagram, anybody have a doubt, they can ask me tomorrow's lecture. Okay? okay yes. So I'll just stop presenting my screen. So... We have completed the AC circuit module also today. So we'll discuss the transformer and three phase induction motor in next lecture. Whatever queries and the videos also, I'm going to share it with you for your reference. Still anybody have a doubt, we can discuss doubts related to your theory examination. We can discuss in the next week after your oral examination. The oral examination date will be, can be 28th, 2nd or 3rd. That I will let you know later on with the timetable of mechanics, it will come to you within one or two days. Okay, so be ready for that. Start studying for oral examination. Be ready and uh, you can you can draw, you can write on a page and you can answer the question. There is no issue whenever oral examination is going on. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And uh, related to journal, if anybody want to discuss with me, we can discuss it tomorrow again. While uploading the journal, you're supposed to convert into PDF and submit it to me okay, on 20 till 25th. Uh, uh, yeah, and also, ma'am, uh, the name of the PDF would be uh, roll number underscore D2C Hi. underscore name, right? Uh, roll number underscore name underscore D2C. Okay. Tanvi, uh, actually, I was trying to call sir about DOP DOS, but he didn't pick my phone. So I will just find it out and I will let you know. And also, ma'am, the thing is that the index has DOSS 22nd Feb. And today is 23rd. So we can't actually just submit it with that. So that's what actually we actually we were thinking to remove that two uh, columns. But one more time, I'll discuss with sir and madam and I will let you know. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So don't submit it without a DOP DOS or with DOP DOS till now. We will see what we're supposed to do. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Yes, thank you, everybody. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Yes.